hey hey sean here i am back at it today probably going to be a short video today for a couple of reasons one i got to get home and pack for a trip two only brought one battery so it gives me about an hour of uh hour of video probably don't need a full hour but today i'm not doing anything in particular i'm just i'm just riding so I haven't thought of any turns, any destinations, I'm just going. Mountain Road, that's got to be good, right? Mountain Road has to be a good road. So the JNS pegs are working out pretty good. A couple hundred miles on them now. Or not the pegs, but the lowering brackets and the tusk pegs. I think that problem solved. So I am trying to resist the urge to add more stuff to this bike this season. I think I'm just sticking to maintenance items. I bought a, a uni air filter and the cleaning stuff for that, and that's that's it for now. Um, skid plate's still calling my name though, but we'll see. Trying to resist that urge. There's so many parts for this thing, it's crazy. But what I'm trying to avoid is getting into a situation where I just start adding stuff because it's cool, and then, you know, when I really, really get into the high mileage stuff with this thing, finding out that I don't like it and taking it off and buying something else and that's, that's what I'm trying to avoid. So I'm trying to just kind of ride it out, see what I need and, and take it that way. But it sure is fun to put stuff on the bike. This is a nice little road. I think I'm speeding through here, probably. Yeah, I am. Whoops. Slow down. I could have sworn there was some gravel back here. Alright, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but uh, if any, any of you have this problem, I wouldn't say it's a problem, it's my own fault. But um, I'm just, the last three bikes I've had have all had self canceling turn signals. And this thing gets me every single time. I always forget to turn off the turn signal on this thing. I just rode back there probably two or three miles with the turn signal on. And I know how frustrating that is if you're behind somebody and they're doing that, but it seems to, it seems to get me every time. I gotta look down more, I guess. Alright. I knew if I stuck with the uh, mountain road long enough, she'd get me to some gravel. So here we go. Goes the windshield. Not the windshield, my visor. One thing I was thinking about on the way out here, um, since I'm close, so close to you know all the battlefields and a lot of monuments and different things in the D.C. area, uh, any of you guys from other parts of the country or other places have any requests for me to ride out to a certain spot so you can see them be happy to do that just uh happy to have some ideas for some other other uh videos oh i know where i am oh man i should have stayed on i should have took that other turn this gravel doesn't end or it ends real quick here all right that was a major pain in the it took us had a major uh, camera malfunction there not sure what was going on the GoPro was actually hung up sorry for my arms in the front of the camera there but GoPro was hung up had to reset it it was not the smart remote I was blaming the smart remote but it wasn't that 
it was the camera itself. So basically, this video is about absolutely nothing, except for me blathering on. One thing I will mention, I had a, uh, having a throttle issue with the Harley. I usually like to take that to work because there's a lot of stop and go traffic. I can listen to the radio. Uh, but there's a problem. It's a, it's a fly-by-wire, so it's got um, electronic throttle. I'm probably saying that wrong, but anyway, it, uh, hmm, this is gravel. This is good. It, uh, it'll start and then it won't go past the idle. I can't, no matter how, you know, you can open the throttle all the way and it'll just stay at a rough idle. So I know there's been some issues with wiring harnesses and wires running through. So when we get back from a trip I'm taking, I'll, I'm, I'm probably going to have to take that one to the dealership because trying to track down electrical issues can be really, really hard, especially on those bikes where there's a lot of electronics running around and, you know, I don't know what's coming. Probably take them an hour to fix and take me three, three days that I may not fix it. So I'm just going to probably take it to the dealership as much as that pains me to say. 893 miles on the KLR. I'll hit 900 at least today and then, uh, well, more than that, but I think once I hit a thousand, I'll drop the oil again. I dropped it twice already. It's probably overkill, but wanted to make sure those metal shavings were out. I switched it to the Rotella T, which a lot of people seem to like. So, and after much research, I found out that that stuff is. You know, test it to the, the standards for the bike, so it's all good. Alright, so I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, again, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, really uh, short ride today, getting ready for a trip, so uh, not a lot, to, not a lot going on on this ride, but just wanted to get something up there, uh, talk about some of the things. Uh, that I got going on with the foot pegs and the farkles and uh, you know just maybe if you guys have any any places you want me to to check out for you in in Virginia West Virginia or DC area uh, you know let me know anyway uh, again thanks and I'll see you next time and that's all I had to say about that